body, yeah, that's my Maserati going ham. No salami, that's your chick. If I like it, then I'm straight. Both garden in a club. What's going on guys, Mr. Classer here. Welcome back to a brand new Rules of Sorala video. Now in today's video guys, I'll be showing you a location that most of you guys already know, you know, hiding under the ship. This has been found in the game quite a while ago, but in this tutorial, I forgot who actually showed me. I don't know if it was Seek and Destroy or some player, but there was somebody, I forgot the name, I apologize. If you're watching this video, leave a comment, but it was some player that I was playing squads or fire team with and he showed me this tutorial on how to actually hide under the ship pretty much every single time. Now, the previous time before, you kind of had to, let's say here's the ship and here's like the ground. You kind of had to go with your car really fast and it had to like hit a certain angle and then you have a chance at actually going beneath the ship. Well guys, this tutorial, there's a way, way, way easier way to actually go under the ship. Now. This game has, again, like some glitches that I know as well. There's not a ton of glitches that I know, but there are some, a couple. And, you know, some of the times players have shown me those. Um, you guys probably know I posted, I believe a while ago about my, um, I believe it was, I think, what was it? The defense glitch where basically you hid under the cement wall and nobody could shoot at you. I don't know if it's been patched. I haven't been there in like really, really long time. Haven't even tried it. Uh, but that glitch exists. There's also the glitch where I I have posted a video about this Where you pretty much I think it's in I want to say Chemical Depot or the factory place basically there are some trucks those really big SUV trucks or that carry fuel and whatnot Basically, you just have to go underneath one of them stand up now It's a little harder to do that because you have to have a certain angle to actually do that but once you stand up and do it right, you just walk a little bit and you'll go under the map and then if everything works out just right, you guys will be back pretty much at Spawn Island. That's where you pretty much spawn back at. And it took quite some time to actually do this because it was kind of hard getting it the first time. It, it really took me probably, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of just trying and trying and trying. But once you actually get it, you know, you will spawn back at Spawn Island, which is actually a pretty cool glitch. And you do take some damage as well going underneath the map. It's not a crazy, a ton, you know, it's not a lot, but it, it is a little bit of damage. So there are some other glitches in the game. Uh, they have, I think, fixed. I don't know if this was a glitch before because I did a video how to how to drive without fuel. And in the thumbnail, you guys see the car like literally 100, 200 feet off the map or off the ground. It was crazy. And some of you guys called me a hacker in that video. Uh, basically, the way you could drive without fuel forever is, uh, before they fix this, I think, basically, there's a certain way you hit a car and then it, like, traveled. Um, so, let's say you were just riding, right, and somebody hits you and you speed up really fast because that happens. Well, before they fixed it, you really, I mean, you just kept going and kept going and kept going. Even if you had an you know obstacle or an object, you still kept going. That's why when you had no fuel, you could actually still travel really, really far distances without fuel. So uh, those are some of the glitches I know. I'm sure there are a lot more that I probably do not know or can't think of right now, but some of you guys have shown me those glitches. I appreciate it. Now, under the ship, you guys know that this ship has been in the game forever, obviously. And it's pretty interesting because, I wait, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been, I don't know if it's been, is it Gilly or is it Fearless that this ship is far enough? I think it's, I think, it, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what I'm thinking right now, but uh, just let's talk about the ship. Basically the ship where you spawn right there. Like when you spawn, there's a ship on the right side on the spawn island. That's what I'm trying to say, spawn island. Pretty sure that's Gilly, but anyway. There's a ship there and everybody spawns there, whether it's 300 player map or, I mean, that's fearless, excuse me. On Gilly Island, you know, everybody spawns there and there, you know, there's a little space where you can actually go. Now you have to jump into, into the ship to actually get a really good angle. Or like me, you could be a boss and just ride, you know, with the car and just go right through the ship. And, you know, if everything works out, you should be able to make it. But it's probably easier just to get ahead, you know, run and just jump pretty much, get a head start and just jump into the ship. And there's really nothing inside it. It's just kind of, it's a, there's really nothing inside it. There's no ammunition really. I don't think there's ever any loot in that tiny, tiny little ship. But um, there are other ships that do have loot that I've done videos, which I've done a secret location video, which blew up. It was insane. But I did do a video about that as well. So 
at least from what I know, I haven't, you know, looted that ship in a while, but I don't think there's any loot. If there is loot, it's very, very, very little. Uh, but yeah, basically there's two different ways you can ride a car through and, you know, and or you can jump off. There's two different ways you can get in. Now, how do you guys get underneath the map? Actually, this is not, it's, I guess it's pretty simple. I did not know until like, you know, I don't know who told me. I might have been Seek and Destroy. might have been somebody else I was playing Fire Team. I really wish I could remember the name to give credit. I just don't. But I'm just saying I did not know this. I'm not taking, you know, you know, my own personal, you know, I'm not taking credit for this obviously i'm not trying to do that by any means because somebody else showed me now again before that guys you actually had to like hit the um what do you call it i guess the entering place of the ship where you can go enter and if you hit a certain angle i've done this you know before i've done videos on this before you could actually go beneath the ship and you could do a lot of things beneath the ship too so it was really really cool and i was just like wow so i obviously a while ago i posted the video about it but now Again, maybe this was there before, but I just figured like I might just well, you know, just post another video um, and pretty much just explain what is going on. So basically, guys, you need a vehicle. So first of all, without a vehicle, there is, again, that first way to do it. And it's a pretty hard way. Now, if you find a vehicle, life makes it a lot easier for you being able to do this glitch. It really does because with the vehicle, it just makes it a lot easier trying to go you know underneath the chip now you do have to have a certain angle as well so basically guys you have to um i'm gonna try to explain this and i will have the clip towards the very end but basically guys you have to pretty much grab a car and you have to like angle i think if you look at the ship you have to go on the left side of the ship my left if you're standing right there in front of the ship you have to go left with the car and there's a little like space that between the sh like let's say here's the ship there's like a little angle that you could like hit and basically that is what you have to do. So you have to drive and usually what I do is I press NOS because, well, I haven't pressed NOS, but I don't want to find out, you know, I don't want my car to getting, you know, in water. But I, I just do NOS just because why not? Uh, once you hit NOS, you guys will hit the little angle. You have to do it right as well. You can just like, you know, guess you have to do just right the angle. And once you actually hit that angle, you guys will be in that glitch. Now, this glitch is crazy, guys. Honestly, if, let's just, you know, for fun, let's say the circle was on the ship. Let's just, for fun, it was on the Spine Island. It was, it's not ever gonna be on Spine Island, but if you were hiding under that location, under the ship, and the circle was pretty much super small, guys, you will win the match. There's no way anybody can find you. I don't even think grenades can do firecrackers. I'm not exactly sure. You can actually do animations below the water as well. Now, the range of being under the ship is not a ton because if you go outside of the ship, you guys will probably swim out. Or if you guys go the other way, you guys will be probably back on the ship. So there is obviously a max amount of space you can actually walk underneath the water and underneath the ship with, but it's still really, really fun just doing it because you know not everybody does it when they spawn and I usually Sometimes if I feel like it, you know, I do it. It's really really fun doing it And if you guys did not know this well, you guys do now It's a different angle than you know the old glitch I mean, it's the same glitch but the old tutorial and again I don't know who the heck showed me this but I appreciate to whoever actually did show me this because this is actually Really really cool and again. I personally do not take any credit of this I just had to get this out there because some of you guys are, will be having a ton of fun probably know put your whole squad or fire team in a freaking you know car challenge or monster truck i want to see what happens with the monster truck because that's going to be really interesting but anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video if you guys did go ahead leave a like that would really mean a ton and if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure to click the subscribe button for daily content and as always i'll see you all on my next video